Hi, I'm Troy Wilkinson. I'm one of the safety techs here at the Palm Beach County School District, and we're here at Seminole Ridge High School to talk about golf cart safety. Before we get started, I need to remind you that the superintendent's office issued a bulletin on August 4th, 2014, that describes the district's golf cart safety program. The bulletin requires all employees and registered volunteers that will be driving district golf carts to have a valid driver's license. In addition, they must review and sign form number 2536. By signing this form, employees and volunteers agree to operate golf cars in a safe manner. The principal and department administrator must also sign the form agreeing to let you drive the golf cart. Finally, the bulletin requires that every golf cart operator complete a safety training program that reviews safe driving practices. Before you get in the golf cart, you need to do a walk around inspection. During this inspection, you're looking for obvious signs of damage and ensuring that everything is secure and in good working condition. Golf carts must be taken out of service if there is anything that looks like it needs to be repaired. Simple fixes like filling the cart's tires with air, checking the batteries, and charging the cart can be done by your on-site golf cart coordinator. Major repairs will need to be done by a district authorized vendor. To operate the golf cart safely, you need to follow a few simple rules, like following all traffic regulations and signs. Be sure your hands, legs, arms, and feet are inside the cart at all times. Both hands on the wheel, eyes straight ahead. Remember, pedestrians always have the right of way. Thanks. Obviously, when driving any district vehicle, including a golf cart, you don't want to be impaired or physically unable to drive. Statistically, left-hand turns are the most dangerous. They cause a majority of accidents involving the ejection of passengers. Be sure and slow down before you make any left-hand turns. Another common golf cart accident occurs between golf cars and automobiles. Guess who always wins? If you must drive in a parking lot, drive defensively. Remember, district golf carts are never allowed on public roadways. Make sure you're driving only as fast as the conditions and terrain allow you to maintain control of your vehicle. Like when you're driving under a covered walkway. The number of passengers in a golf cart should equal the number of seats. Two seats, two passengers. I don't think so. Be sure your direction selector is in the correct position before you start your vehicle. Remember, when you're driving your golf cart, it's just like when you're driving your car. You don't want to be texting and driving or talking on your radio. When you're done using the vehicle, make sure the parking brake's set, it's in neutral, and the keys are removed. So let's wrap this up. During this video, we talked about the superintendent's bulletin, driver qualifications and training requirements, vehicle inspections, and safe driving practices. I'm Troy Wilkinson. Thanks for watching.